Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. So today's video is going to be on how I do my relaxer touch up, my relaxer routine. So yeah, the first thing I do is I section my hair into three, the two at the front, the one at the back. So from that section, I now subsection into um, smaller sections, which is, in, and then twist it up. So I'm going to just let you guys watch. Then this is, these are my um, equipment, the things I'm going to be using, my relaxer, my comb, my applicator, my tail comb, then my spray bottle and my gloves. So the spray bottle is very, very important. I'm going to be seeing why you're going to be needing it. So yeah, I'm going to, I already twisted the back of my hair. This is me doing the front and showing you how. This is the reason why you need a spray bottle. When you spray water at your roots, it makes your natural hair puffy. You get so you can see where your relaxer starts. So that's the purpose of using um spray bottle of using water. So but like that is going to be easy for you to see where your relaxed air starts. So it will prevent you adding put applying relaxer to that part all over again. So you just twist that down. You don't need to twist twist it to the tip since you are not going to get relaxer to that part. You get make sure the sections are not too big and make sure they are not too small. As well so you can see here i was trying to like reduce my section so i can have a workable part so this is me also also doing the same process all over again make sure you check well this is very important in fact this is the most important step of applying relaxers to your hair i'm going to make it slower so you guys can see it's better So yeah, once you've identified your relaxed parts from your new growth, you can now go ahead, apply your Vaseline from your relaxed part downward. You don't need to apply it to all the length of your hair. Since your relaxer will be getting to the tip, just apply to the middle section. Just make, it, make sure you go down very well. Twist it up and you, have, you are good to go. So the next thing is to apply your scalp, is to apply your Vaseline to your scalp or any kind of grease you are using, not, not necessarily Vaseline. So when you're applying the Vaseline to your scalp, make sure you prevent your new growth because once the Vaseline gets to your new growth, it will, it will cause under process of that part. So it will cause the under processing of that part. Also, also make sure you apply your Vaseline to the perimeters of your head. Apply to your forehead very well. Like let it come down to your forehead not only in your in your edges because you never can tell relaxer might get to your forehead you never can tell apply it apply it round to the back of your head also down towards your neck and also apply to your ears please don't forget to apply to your ears your ears are very important i don't know i always get relaxer to my ears i don't know how so please prevent your ears then you get your gloves before after wearing your gloves make sure you prepare your relaxer i already did mine before wearing my gloves so what i did here is just that i put the relaxer in the bowl mix the activator and the relaxer together and i've, I've made a cream out of it sorry i didn't video that so me i'm already applying my relaxer i make sure i, I apply from the um, crown of my head from the middle of my head because that part process lasts, like it takes long to process compared to the front and the back. So once I apply to the middle, I leave that to start processing, then I go to the back, then I do the front. You get so for you it might be different. Your front might be your front part might be the one that, that doesn't that don't process um quickly. So it depends on how your hair is. Mine is always my crown. So once I do that, I do that, then do the back. So yeah, I'm here doing the front. Can you see what I said about relaxer touching your forehead? Imagine I didn't um grease my forehead. Can you see that little relaxer playing around? But don't worry, we are going to get rid of it. You see? It's all gone. So thank God there's grease on my forehead. So once you do that, apply. Make sure you are preventing your scalp, please. Prevent your scalp whenever you are applying relaxers to your hair. Like let the applicator start from probably half an inch from your from your scalp 
let it be half an inch from your from your scalp so you won't get burnt because once it touches your scalp in less than two minutes you are going to be run into the bedroom to wash it off which is going to cause under process air you don't want to under process your air guys you don't want to so as you can see the inches i'm leaving just prevent your scalp don't let it get to your scalp find a way to do that so as you are applying also prevent your edges don't let it get to your edges at all like i do my edges last in fact i do my edges when i already get my shampoo and conditioner and i'm ready to go wash that is when i do my edges so please be careful when applying this thing is chemical and it can burn you so continue to apply you can also apply to places you feel needs more relaxer i'm going to shut up and let you watch the rest So yeah, I'm done applying all over. So what I'm doing now is I'll pack the air up, make sure I'm relaxed and touching the process parts, pack everything up. I like doing this because it just gives me more control. I put everything up, then I start smoothing. This is the smoothing process. While I smoothing, I know when, when my hand feels the air, I feel like, okay, this part needs more relaxer. I'll put a little bit relaxer to it you get then smoothing it out you can also smooth it with the back of your of your of your comb but i i prefer to use my hand because i don't want to risk my comb touching my scalp and irritating it so i prefer to use my hand so this is how i smooth things smooth things smooth things smooth things till i'm done you want to be careful here too it be extra careful because that side that part is close to your ears so you want to be careful there as well be careful when you pick it so just pick it one by one this process is very easy pick it one by one all the press of me apply, apply my relaxer takes me less than 15 minutes because the relaxer must be on my head for 15 minutes so i make sure to do to use the take spend 10 minutes application time 10 minutes but this day i spent about 13 minutes application time so i just waited for two more minutes for it to like process very well before i went to wash so let me shut up and allow you enjoy the smoothening process So yeah, I'm done smoothing, I'm done, this is me just, you know, wrapping it up. So do your edges after this, then I got my conditioner and I went to wash. This is the end result. This video is about how I relax, not about how I wash. So if you want to see more, you want to know how I wash my hair when I do my relaxer, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment for me. Thank you for watching. Bye.